Good morning and welcome to guncalendars.com where we take a look at what's going on in our two-acre street and I guess what's going on on the calendar today. So it is March 10th and we're taking a look at uh, history but also we have uh, something happening today in Tennessee. So first let's go to history and let's remember the anniversary in 2015 of the proposed ban of the M855, the green-tipped 223 ammo. The ATF received over 80,000 comments and that was enough for them to reverse a proposed decision to ban the M855 ammo. Of course, that was uh, started by gun prohibitionists, another attempt to uh, restrict access to ammo, in this case, ammunition created off, off of the shore or outside of the United States and in 2015 it was after the it was still in the echo of the uh, resistance to Obama's 23 executive actions in 2013 uh, so in 2015 people were antsy for a fight we were still motivated and we had still uh, we were still savoring that victory and that was no small victory uh, so in uh, 2015 uh, the grassroots started to mumble and as I recall, and let me know if you can recollect this differently, but the way I remember it, we started to uh, see stirrings in the uh, live conversations and in the Instagram feeds and on the some YouTube channels and blogs and so forth, and some of the large radio shows, uh, the large stuff that was uh, large, you know, dwarfed our audiences that dwarfed our social media audiences, picked up the story and and eluded. To a situation like could happen in 2013 and it was dropped immediately. The, the suggestion of banning that ME55 was, was dropped immediately. I don't want to forget that. One of the reasons we talk about stuff like this is so that we don't forget little victories like that one to keep us motivated and keep us um, focused on the goal. We want to remove that NFA, we want to remove restrictions, we want to show people that firearms are not evil. Firearms create the peace that we all prosper in. Anyway, March 10th, 2015, the M855 ammo ban was stopped, not through intimidation, not through money, not through in industry interest, not through lobbying. It was stopped through grassroots advocacy and through awareness that uh, Second Amendment advocates weren't going to sit still. It's also the anniversary of the Rally Day in Tennessee today. So if you're in Tennessee and you can get to your state capitol, uh, I I'm just learned about this one last week, so I might not have all the information, but it sounds like uh, they're asking people to meet at the old Supreme Court chambers in the state capitol. Uh, and then you have a rally uh, starting at 9 a.m. And after that rally, they expect participants to move through the legislature's office building and ask groups of rally attendees to circulate and speak with legislatures and staff about passing constitutional carry this year in Tennessee, eliminating gun-free zones and repealing concealed permit only or concealed only permits, etc. So they want you to talk about Second Amendment issues that matter to you with your representatives and their staff. It sounds like you need to register for that, so I'm not sure if anyone has, still has time to do that, but if you have time to sit in with other people's meetings that were already um, uh, scheduled, maybe that's an option. I hope we see some live conversation, some live coverage, and some conversation after the rally in Tennessee today. These rallies are like going to the range. These rallies are the practice that we use. They're, they're to some extent public, so they're 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 real they're live fire but uh they're also practice for our community right we we're aware of these rallies some people still don't have any uh any interest in them some people consider them waste of time some people consider them uh anti pro gun they, they think that they're a problem so if you're pro rally and if you see the value in rallies and you can support or get two rallies Make your voice known. If you're really against them, let us know why. We shouldn't be wasting our time. But if you're not doing anything, come on, get, do something. We've got such easy access to the internet. You can get preached at in this episode. So today is March 10th. We've got a rally in Tennessee. We've got an anniversary of a victory 
So let's talk about that stuff at the gun shop, at the gun shows with people and work at life and school and church. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for your support. And as always, got my thing for Patreon. There you go. Thanks for our Patreon supporters, the people that make this whole thing possible. What's going on? Oh, I have this thing set to this window and not to the screen. So there, thanks to our Patreon supporters. Oh. There, thanks to our Patreon supporters, you make this possible. You give me the time to set aside to do these things in batches. You give me the time to set aside to build the websites. You keep the websites online. If you're just watching this, I hope you're thanking these Patreon supporters too, because they make it possible for you to sit there and watch this stuff for nothing. Till next time. It'll be the day after tomorrow, it sounds like. Thanks for watching.